all know that the introduction of the multidisciplinary team um, has improved the survival of patients with rectal cancer significantly. And uh, we pathologists have a very important role that is not necessarily the one related to staging the T and the N uh, status of the patient, but also uh, evaluating the quality of the surgery in these specimens. And the way we do this is through evaluating the integrity of the mesorectum, the margins of resection, and also uh, a, a good and thorough investigation of the mesorectum for uh, lymph nodes. Now, the mesorectum, um, the integrity of the mesorectum has been shown over and over to correlate not only with local recurrence, but also with overall survival. And the way that we evaluate the quality of the mesorectum is based on the plane of the surgery. Um, this has been described by, uh, by Phil Quirk, and the way that we divide it is uh, when the mesorectum is complete, that means that the plane of surgery was at the mesorectal level. We have a nice, bulky, intact mesorectum, and we have the near complete mesorectum in which the uh, plane of surgery uh, was done intramesorectally, so it usually it looks nice and bulky, but it has some defects that are a little bigger than what we would like. And finally, uh, those situations in which the dissection takes place at the level of the muscularis propria, and most of the times these mesorectums are not bulky, and we can see the muscularis propria through the mesorectum. And here you can see um, a, a specimen of TME that is a, a beautiful specimen, complete mesorectum, shiny due to the uh, fibers of the fascia. And very importantly, you can see how the, uh, the surgeon has gone all the way up to the root of the inferior mesenteric artery with a nice pedicle, which is important because there are lymph nodes here that we uh, for sure don't want to miss. And you can see at a higher view the shininess of the mesorectum again, complete uh, again at the mesorectal uh, plane of surgery. Here uh, you can see it from the posterior aspect with a posterior, what we call the rectal paradox. This is a case that had been fixed uh, for 48 hours, so you can see better the fibers of the mesorectal fascia that, stay, um, that have this kind of whitish color. If we were to do coronal sections, you can see the mesorectum anteriorly that is uh, thinner, as we all know, and then uh, posteriorly that is bulkier. And you can see again how the plane here is at the mesorectal level.